Hey everybody, it's Randy again. Just wanted to shoot another quick video. I'm still waiting for my turbo to show up. So in the meantime, I've been watching uh, Dale on uh, Twisted Builds. Uh, he's uh, a car guy who uh, works with a lot of Arduino stuff and he's built a boost controller and it's actually the boost controller that Matt Happel with Sloppy Mechanics um, He's put on in the last few videos he's made he's talked about it so i want to play around and uh, experiment with that on my own so i bought this arduino uh, starter kit and i'm just messing around i bought a couple cheap or one cheap pressure sensor from amazon this was like oh i think it was like 22 bucks or something and then i bought a 12 volt solenoid here that was 12 bucks or something and I've got it wired up to a uh, Uno Arduino board and have a LCD display here. Um, it's actually, as you can see, it's not a not an actual boost controller yet by any means because I don't have a, a, a turbo or a vehicle with a turbo to uh, install it on. So it's just kind of a, a concept. Um, but what makes mine different is this one will actually, um, I'm pretty sure Dale's, it just stays at a fixed PW, PWM signal. So whatever you set it to, that's what it'll stay at. But mine, I wanna be able to change the how much it modulates the solenoid based on boost pressure. So that's kind of, for now, I'm just trying to maintain a certain amount of pressure in this, uh, chamber here so I've got the pressure sensor and the gauge and I've got shop air tied into the solenoid which will pressurize this piece of pipe so but it doesn't quite work the way I had hoped it would let me just adjust the display here see if I can get it so it shows up a little better so this SP is the set point or that's the amount of boost pressure you want or the amount in my case of pressure I want in this test chamber and this PSI is what's being measured by the sensor that's how much we actually have and then this output is the percent of PWM signal that's being sent to the solenoid but the issue I'm having is I think the solenoid doesn't handle a PWM, a, a pulse signal very well. It basically seems like it's on or off, so it doesn't quite work the way it should, but I'll, I'll show you. So you can see right now the, the output is zero, and as I turn up this set point and call for more boost, we'll, we'll call it, you can see the output starting to go up. And you can actually hear it buzzing. It's sending a signal to the solenoid, but the solenoid isn't opening yet. So it takes a good like 60, 70%. It's right there. You could hear the solenoid open and it's letting pressure in. And you can see the output going up and down there. And you can see the pressure going up and down too but it just doesn't respond fast enough. And I think it's because the solenoid isn't the right uh, kind for the application. Oh, and there goes my compressor. So yeah, of course your air compressor would start right while you're shooting a video. But anyways, um, so as I turn the set point up, like let's try and shoot for 15 pounds of boost or pressure in this chamber. It does respond and the solenoid is pulsing faster and the pressure has gone up but it's still fluctuating too much for it to be useful as a boost controller so can't quite call it a success it doesn't doesn't work the way it should so i think i need a different kind of solenoid i think what i've heard mentioned on the real tuners podcast is a mac solenoid so i think that's probably what i need but Anyways, that was just a learning experience and I uh, figured I'd show you guys what I'm working on while I'm uh, waiting for my turbo to show up. So that's all I got for you today. We'll uh, talk to you next time.